So let's look at the three key factors when considering concentration technology. We talked about finding where the cannabinoids are. With McCasual, you extract where the majority of the cannabinoids are. You find the trichomes. The second process is looking over a formulation centric. What am I trying to make? What do I need out of that compound? And from there, choosing the solvent that I'm going to use to be able to extract, as well as combining it with separation. How do I maximize that front time to be able to know that I'm speeding up my, my extraction? We talked about best on the botanical side. You know, what's the botanical material? What's the extraction efficiency? What's the safety and the technology to use? And so now what we want to do is we want to say, how do I actually look at those factors and make a decision? Well, there's three th things to look at, and I use the S's. So I have speed, scale, and selectivity. When we first look at speed, it's the cycle time. A lot of times what people will do is they'll look at one mode and assume that that's the speed. And what we need to do when you're looking at extraction is from the time you put the material into whatever container it is until the time you again put more material into that cylinder. All the processes that happen along the way until that time is a cycle time, not just the extraction time, because the extraction time could be very quick and everything else downstream could be very long and you could be adding on to different things. So now you're wanting to see speed of cycle time. The second one is scale. How easy it is to scale. Remembering that extraction in the cannabis industry started off as something because it wasn't as legal in all the different states. And so now you might have been doing something on a very small scale in a kitchen. You might have been making a medical um, product for someone in the family or someone that you know. And so all those laws are based on very small scale. And so things that you do on a small scale is possible. If you want to make cupcakes for, for a birthday party, you would make cupcakes. If you're making cupcakes for the city of New York, that's a whole different process. That's a scale thing. And so you can't be making all the cupcakes in one little kitchen. The next one that we have is looking at selectivity. When I'm looking at selectivity, what do I want to get out of that formulation? Do I want just a few molecules? Do I want a broad scape of molecules? What do I want to have? So when you're looking at speed, scale, and selectivity, you got to pick two. You don't get three. So if I'm looking at selectivity, then selectivity by CO2 is very easy to do. You're able to find the selectivity. You're fine-tuning that, that, that extraction. And you're going to be able to scale that. As long as you have finances, you're going to be able to scale the CO2. Speed is not coming with it. It has to be something that's slower. You're trying to make something that allows you to have that selectivity. If I have room temperature ethanol and I'm moving through that process, well, that's going to be fast. I'm going to get a lot of material out very quickly. I'm going to be able to scale it based on local regulations on how much ethanol I'm allowed to have inside a building. Is it outside? Is it inside? Selectivity, not a chance. You have no selectivity because you're going to be getting everything out of that plant. The same thing can be held true if you're looking at some of the compounds, for example, of hexane, I, uh, IPA, isopropyl alcohol, um, looking at um, 134A, tetrafluoroethane. Each one of these is going to have two of those processes. And it all comes down to what do you have for the formulations that you're going to make and what are the investment resources that you have to be able to make that happen and how much are you going to need. Those three things will influence on what you're going to use for a final concentration technology.